In today's episode, I talk about why perfectionism sucks. Welcome to episode 148 of the Honest Entrepreneur Show, where I help creatives like you to master your marketing. My name's Tom Ross, and let's get into it. This question is from Anna. I really appreciated your thoughts on avoiding perfectionism, but it left me wondering, isn't perfectionism also one of those things that draws us to make art? The urge to create beautiful, close to perfection things is part of the itch that makes me create in the first place. What do you think? Hey, Anna, I want to clear this up once and for all. Perfection sucks. Better doesn't. Okay, so aim for better, don't aim for perfect. Perfect doesn't exist. So people start to realize that and then they burn themselves out trying to achieve the impossible. If you aim for perfect deep down, you know you're never going to hit it and therefore you give up. You think I'm never going to be perfect, so what's the point? And I've talked about this in my content, on my newsletter, all kinds of places. Perfection is the best friend of splitting which is black and white thinking. This basically says, I'm either perfect or I'm terrible. I'm either a success or a failure. And it doesn't give any any like due diligence to the gray area between these two polarized extremes. This is a very dangerous thing because we're all somewhere in the middle, right? None of us are a complete failure or a perfect success. None of us are perfect the same way none of us are completely, what's the opposite of perfect? Not imperfect, but you know what I mean? Completely sucky, for lack of a a better word. Um, And so, yeah, perfection, I just, I can never defend perfection. And the way you're trying to, and your question is, you're trying to basically say, well, isn't chasing perfection great because it makes us more ambitious and it makes us want to get better? Um, I don't think so for the reasons I just outlined, but I do think it's very healthy to chase better because we can always be better. So better is actually always attainable because it's not the best, it's not perfect, it's not an end goal, it's that next step. I want to be a little bit better tomorrow than I am today. I can put in the actionable work and I can execute to get a little bit better. And then the next day I'm gonna get a little bit better. So I am always gonna be chasing myself tomorrow. And that is healthy because that is basically a different methodology for defining ambition ambitious people are trying to improve they're trying to get better and there's nothing wrong with that i'm very ambitious i think it's great within reason obviously you don't want to become a a crazy workaholic but generally speaking ambition is a positive thing these are not the people who chase perfection these are the people who chase better there is a huge discrepancy and also i hope that was helpful you've just inspired me to post a tweet on my Twitter (laughs) explaining exactly this in a nutshell because I think more people need to hear it. So thank you, Anna. Um, But for Anna and everyone watching and listening, I really hope this puts this debate to bed. I am never encouraging perfectionism or the aspiration of perfect. I'm always pushing instead for better. Question of the day. What is something that you want to get better at? Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm really enjoying the YouTube show. If you are too, then be sure to hit the subscribe icon and tick the little bell to get notifications when I post new content on this platform.